Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. I got out the yellow and red playmat to open this box of Brothers War Draft Boosters. Do you even remember when this came out? November of 22, one scant month after Infinity. Oh, look at that, this beautiful border. I love those. Let's see, what order are we in here? Oh, oh, they're at the front. So uncommons, rare, there we go. Okay, so we're going to have an artifact, then we're going to have our rare mythic slot, then our three uncommons, and then the rest. Okay, great. So one scant month after Infinity, which was one scant month after Dominaria United, and immediately on the heels of this was... Wait, wait, why, why do we have a land here now? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. And then one month later was, of course... Jumpstart 22, Dominari Remastered, and on and on and on into Phyrexia. Power Plant Worker in the Foil, another Chromatic Star, White Stone and Weak Stone. Essentially, just too many releases. Back to back to back to back to back. One release per month going on. Ooh, six, seven months. Urza, Prince of Krug, of course, this is not the valuable one. But one release a month, four, six, seven months now, just too much. There we go, very nice. Throw that up there. And of course, as you saw in one of my data videos, the 100-day Brothers War set box update, Mishra's Bobble, Might Stone, and Weak Stone again. As you saw, the sales of the set boxes of Brothers War had just leveled off. And they leveled off really fast. They leveled off a lot faster than standard sets in the last year. And it's unfortunate, but people just don't have time to enjoy any of this stuff. Cycle of Gix in the foil. But no time to enjoy it, no time to explore the meta. No time to really buy as much as you would like to buy. That's very nice. Very nice card. Titania. Very nice. All right. Let's get all the all the great old legends of Magic's history together here. Titania, Gix. Of course, Urza and Mishra are in this set. Sundering Titan, Rand Spider. I'm a little disorganized with the stacks here, but I'll write it and I'll do it live. Wake in the Woods. Man. This box is on fire so far. Gix, Titania, and Awake in the Woods. All three of those are up there in about the, oh, I don't know, top six or eight most valuable cards. Ashnod. It is a little less exciting opening ah, Gilded Lotus. Eh, kind of cool, but does that actually have any value? Diabolic Intent, of course, another one up there. Pretty good value-wise for the set. Jalum Tome, great throwback card. Visions of Phyrexia. So far, some pretty good hits in this box. Sigil of Valor, Harbin. But yeah, no one, no one gets time to enjoy this stuff anymore. They have to move on. They have to immediately start spending on another product and. Really, as soon as you could enjoy something, it's already spoiler season for the next thing, and the attention doesn't get time to focus on something, especially a standard set like this. And it's it's surprising to see how fast the sales had dropped off, but then to see how much value even 
in a draft boxes left, you know. I went out on MTG Box Sim and I looked and, you know, clicked through probably 40, 50 Monte Carlo Sims of, uh, of these Brothers War draft boxes. And, you know, the average was more than you pay for the box. Not by much. And, of course, there's fees and everything else involved. But it was still surprisingly good considering that this has been out for several months now and the opportunity to open boxes and sell singles has been there for a while but again the market just doesn't have time and the other big problem is you know if you're a card store and you're you're not well financed well capitalized well you may be on 90 day terms with your distributor and you've got to turn around really fast from the product you've just sold and spend that money again to buy the next product. And so you've got to get it off the books and move it. So it's an unfortunate state that the whole market is in right now, Mystic Forge. But eventually we'll come out of it. Eventually things will get healthier and we'll move on. These aren't nearly as exciting to open as set packs are. You know, a set pack, you you pull the pull the wrapper off and you see, oh, you got a list hit. You get more mythic and rare packs. Mythic rare rare occasionally. And yeah, we're getting some double rare packs here and like that one. But just not as often. You know, overall, you only get about 10% more rares and mythics in a set box over a draft box, not counting the list. So then you got to count the list, which is always a very difficult thing to quantify because it changes so much set to set. Man, this box really slowed down. You know, it started off pretty great. There we go, foil, white stone, and, we and weak stone. Don't know that that's really worth much, but cool to see. Draconic Destiny. This box has really slowed down. We were on fire at the beginning. Mishra, Tamer of Makfawa. See if we can get a couple more hits in here. I got about six packs to go. Forging the Anchor, Elsewhere Flask. Yep, Painlands. Very nice. It's cool to see those. Always good to see Painlands reprinted. I think there's pretty much a unlimited demand for those over time. And it's cool to see them come in and out of standard. Scatter Ray in the foil. Yep, Battlefield Forge. Another one. Good old millstone. Does that still have any relevance in play anymore? There are much better mill cards out there nowadays. Is it just a throwback card now? Self-assembler. Arcane proxy. And last two packs of the box. Another self-assembler. Blade coil serpent. Final pack, Construct, Surge Engine, Foil Mythic, Ornithopter, good old Ornithopter, Mishra's Command. Alright guys, so pretty good box, pretty good number of Mythics, got a Gix and a Titania, that's always nice, and an Awake in the Woods, so a number of decent hits, lots of good cards otherwise, some of these uh, full art pain lands, always good to see pain lands again. So let me know what you think, guys. I think I'll probably open one more box of these coming up. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on Final Trade.